guys, I'm Murphy's mom, and <laughs> this is Murphy. Hi. <laughs> Give me. Look, 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 look. Hi. Say the Murph. Ah, I got hit. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, I do around the house videos. Basically, I have clutter, so I'm always decluttering. I do cleaning videos, recipes, reviews, the occasional DIY craft project, and so much more. Today, I'm going to be working on the closet behind me. It's the other closet in my side hallway that is basically my everything closet. It holds so many different things and that's part of the reason why it's always a bit of a mess. It holds extra light bulbs, extra batteries, flashlights, bags, cleaning tools, household tools, measuring tapes, everything that I don't know what to do with I put in this closet. It also holds the ashes of my pets that are no longer with us, and I don't know what to do with the ashes. I I really should spread them in the backyard and or bury them in the backyard, but I don't know what to do with them. So they're in the closet there. I am not touching those today, actually. Those are on the top shelf, and I'm going to leave that shelf alone. But I'm going to do what, if you watch Sophia from a, My Great Challenge, she calls it a dock declutter, organize, and clean. That's what I'm going to do with this closet because it is a mess. Now, I decluttered it about a year or two ago, so it's not like I have left this thing for ages, but it is such a well-used closet that there's a lot of stuff in here. Let me show you what I have to do first. As I said, my pets and stuff are on the top shelf. I am not touching anything on that shelf, but here are my extra light bulbs, my extra bags, and all my extra stuff and some extra goodies on this rack as well. So I'm going to clean it all out today, organize it, do the best I can and make it just a little bit more user friendly because right now it is not. So let's get started. going to declutter and get it out of here so I can clean the whole area quickly without too much of a problem. If it were a bigger space, I would only take out sections at a time, but half of it's on a rolling cart that I can just pull out and declutter quickly out here instead of trying to climb in the closet to get it done. <music> you this rack was so hard to get out of here I don't remember if I put it together in the closet and then loaded up everything put it in the closet empty and then put everything on it or try to wrestle with it to get it in full I don't remember but let me tell you it was a pain in the neck to get out I had to pull everything out from behind it in order to get this rack out and this is why I wanted it out to clean it off and declutter it because it was so hard to deal with it in the closet. Even wrestling it to get it out was so much better than leaving it in. Can you see how dirty this is? You can tell I don't clean out this closet too often. It's a mess. After I finished sweeping the floor, I started to unload the light bulbs. <laughs> and let me tell you, in order to do this, I have to climb up on a ladder. It's not that tall and most people can reach that shelf, but I need my ladder. So in order to do this, I'm doing a ladder shuffle. I'm pushing the ladder out, pushing it back in. It's fun. But I needed to sort through these because I did not know what I had up here. I don't know 
if I recorded any of my cleaning, but I cleaned it the best I could. I wiped on the shelves, I wiped on the walls, I cleaned the baseboard, I cleaned the inside of the door, the outside of the door, the trim on the outside, all of that. And I even gave the basement, inside of the basement door, a quick cleaning. It is what it is, it's not perfect. However, I've gotten it cleaned out. Now let's see what I've taken out of the closet. This is all the stuff that I had in the closet. Yeah, there was a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here. In order to make this work, I'm going to have to declutter a lot of the stuff. But as you can see, yeah, there's a lot of junk. So the first thing I'm going to do is probably go through the light bulbs. I am not going to get rid of any of them because I use them. But I'm going to sort them a little bit better because sometimes I don't... No, I have light bulbs and I bought, buy more of one. So what the first thing I'm going to do is sort what I have and then I'm going to go on from there. First things first, let's move these out of the way because I don't need them here right First, actually. Okay, this is a, this is a bag of Halloween candy. <laughs> this is a bag of Halloween candy. I'm not sure what to do with it. I'm going to put it aside so I don't spend too long figuring out what to do with it. And at the end, I'll get it again. So I'll put this to the side. It's out of the way. But there is nothing. Oh, look, there's a doggy on there. Just like you were being feet. A doggy. <laughs> And it's something, I'm glad I kept it because I'm going to put all my loose light bulbs in here because they're rolling around in the closet and making it difficult to pull out light bulbs that I know I have, but I can't reach because I'm dropping these on the floor. So I'm just going to put any loose light bulbs are going to go in here and I'm going to have to label it so I know they're loose light bulbs, but at least they're in one spot and I'm not going to have a, like, break them and drop them on the floor. Those two are together. This belongs in the basement. It doesn't belong here. So I'm going to leave this, but I'm going to actually, I'm going to take it down to the basement now. to a st my stove. I keep breaking them, so I always keep an extra, but I know to look for them in this spot. So I'm going to leave it with the light bulbs. so but it's where I kept them where I keep them anyway I would never look in this closet for it so I'm going to put it where it belongs now because this is not where I'd look for something like this <laughs> grab for them easily. I'm going to actually also, this is a 41, is there one opening in there? I'm going to put these in here also because they are weird shapes and sizes. And this one, I'm going to actually cut the box in here. And that can go in here too. These are weird shapes and sizes. So that is in here. It's flat.
It'll go up with the light bulb, so I'll just keep towards the back. While I'm doing that, I have two of these. I use this level when I'm hanging a picture, so I like it here because this is where I keep my picture stuff. This is a good one. It belongs with the tools in the basement. So I'm going to take that there now also. This is not mine. This is my daughter's. I'm going to see if she wants it. If not, I'm donating it. So I can go in there. Let's get this part. Oh, gosh. Let's get a rag. I have to wipe things down. Okay, these are another set of things that I should have brought down before. Don't worry, I'm going to wipe down my dining room table when I'm done, so Murphy's fur is not on it. Anyway, these should have gone down before, but yeah, I'm not going down again. So these can go. This actually should go downstairs. I need to keep it. It's replacement trim. I keep masks. I want to keep both of these. I don't know where I want to put them yet, but they belong in this closet. That's where I'll look for them. One of the things I did not do very well the last time was go through the batteries and check the dates on these. Some of these were like 10 years old. They were a mess, and I think one or two of them leaked. So, yeah, it was a bit of a mess. I was very happy that I had lined the bottom of the bin with, like, shelving paper. So it was easy to clean up. But, yeah, it was not something I should have let happen in the first place. <laughs> in the way. These are just all the bags that I've collected. I'm going to sort through them. I do like to keep a variety of bags on hand, but yeah, this is way too much. I can already see over here is a gift bag. It doesn't belong down here, so I'm going to put that upstairs, but I'm going to sort through, pick out the ones I want, recycle the ones I don't want, and donate the ones that are good, but I really don't want to keep. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm putting things back in a closet, I feel like I'm playing Tetris. I'm trying to get everything in a little spot so it doesn't fall and hit me in the head. Anyway, once I've finished playing Tetris, 
I went back in the dining room and I cleaned it up because I had made a bit of a mess in there. So I needed to spend a few minutes in there just to give everything a wipe down because one thing I've learned, if I don't completely pick up a project after I'm done with it, I end up with a bigger mess. So I always try to spend a few minutes at the end just tidying up because I don't want to have more clutter. <laughs> I'm done for now. My famous saying, I'm done for now. Is it perfect? It never is. I never do perfect. Is it better? Yes. Did I declutter some things? Yeah, I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff. I had a lot of trash to get rid of this time. I put things back where they belong, such as tools. A lot of them were up here and they were just taking up space. The stuff I grab for a lot or tends to be more my tools, I put back in here because this is where I would look for them. I have things in here that I would never think to look for in here. I had floral wire. Well, I have a container upstairs where I do keep my floral wire. That's where I look, not here. There was also a lot of extra screwdrivers. There was also like a marker and tape, things like that that didn't belong in this closet, a place I wouldn't look for them. So instead of being useful items, they were becoming clutter. So I'm glad I moved things around, put the tools back where they belong because there were too many here and kept a lot of the stuff that I do use here. I'm able to see what I have. I have a better idea of what's in the closet now, which is helpful. And I'll have to do it again, which is kind of how I feel. I'm done for now because I know I have to come back and redo it again and again. I am not great about decluttering. I'm trying to make progress, but I will hold on to things that I do not need to hold on to for a lot longer. So let me show you how the closet came out. This is the finished product. Is it perfect? <laughs> No, it's better. That's all I'm looking for at this point. I'll start on the door. I left the two umbrellas. I weeded out a lot of stuff from the door caddy. I have a lot of screwdrivers still, but I like different sizes. This is where I keep my felt pads and Velcro ties, things that I could grab for quickly. My scissors are here, things like that. In the closet. I organized the light bulbs the best I could. Now, this thing here is my window cleaner. I need to find a better spot for it. It doesn't belong there, but right now it's staying there. Next are my bags. I thin them out a lot. <laughs> I got rid of a lot of them, but I still have a lot of bags to go through. Now, the problem with this closet has always been I keep my bigger brooms here, my little dirt devil and a couple other things in here and it makes it hard to get to the, the rack behind it but it has to do for now so on the top shelf i put all my batteries my flashlights my extension cords these are things i grab for most in this closet this is what i keep the most and i kept my little friend here because this was my midnight's toy and i'm not ready to get rid of it yet that's why decluttering is a bit hard for me oh and this is a magnifying glass i love it because i can't always see on this shelf i put my masks i kept my little doll there my tape so all my tape that i grab for is pretty much here except for uh, wrapping tape things like that i keep some glue here and velcro ties and things like that. I've used this little Easter basket to put the small things in so they don't fall through. Now on the bottom shelf, this is the bag of batteries and that flashlight. I can't seem to get it out. I'm going to have to have my husband get that flashlight apart to get the battery out. But on here are my tools. I don't reach for these that often, so I don't mind keeping the bag of batteries here, but it's a good start. And underneath, I keep my extra smoke detector. So that one's there. So this is my closet. It's better. So that's the closet. It took a lot longer than I expected. Yeah, they always do. Especially things like this where I think I'm going to rip through it in an hour. Yeah, never happens. But it's much better. And this decluttering session of that everything closet was so much better than the last time I did it because there was so much more stuff in there from years. <laughs> only been a, okay this has been a couple of years too but this is much better anyway it took me longer i need to take murphy for her walk she's going to get a little antsy in a few minutes and i know that i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the like button if you like more videos like this hit subscribe i'm murphy's mom and she's in the living room waiting to go bye for now <laughs>
And here's my Murphy girl. She really wants to go for a walk. So bye for now.